particular video is fucking hilarious. Take it for the final kid subreddit because it immediately kind of for me is another example as to why some people don't like Brendan. And I just can't for the life of me understand why this man can't figure out these sort of things and just kind of nip him in the bud because it's so bizarre because he doesn't do this. He kind of does this depending on who he's speaking to or depending on who he's sitting next to as well, this type of attitude. But essentially, um, Eddie Brother starts talking about stand-up and then Brendan gives Rogan some kind of look like, oh, here he goes, like rolling his eyes as if he's some, you know, like three decade long veteran in fucking stand-up comedy and something. It's fucking obscene because you'd imagine most likely i haven't seen eddie brother stand up but i don't think i wouldn't imagine it's good but i still wouldn't i would go as far as saying brendan and eddie brother's comedy is probably at the same level or they've probably been doing it around the same amount of time so for rogan for brendan to give rogan the fucking look at this guy eyes is really really disrespectful in some respect especially considering that eddie brother's older than him yeah you know i mean it's just a weird thing that he did there. i didn't really understand why he would do that somebody that you also count to be as a friend let me play the clip up in there have you ever um, not smoked weed all day and then right when you get introduced to go on stage take a hit of a pen and walk on stage that's your first high as you walk on stage you ever done that i've gotten on stage high every way conceivably possible but you know what i'm talking about yeah like yeah I've as done you that. dude to me that's the, that's the move. formula that's the formula oh my for me yeah. That, I, I, once I figured that, because at first I would smoke weed like all day and then go on stage and I would forget my bits. And then I go, you know what? I can't smoke weed anymore on stage. So then I go, I'm not going to smoke weed. I'm going to go on stage. No, not high. And then I would remember everything and I would. Let's play it one more time. Like, look at his eyes. Why do you, why would you do that to somebody like an Eddie Bravo? Like, especially someone that's meant to be your friend, especially considering that you're not a fucking, you know, a, a veteran comic yourself. Like, why are you giving the guy the eyes? Like, oh, look at this guy type of eyes. Like, why? Especially to Rogan to Rogan to join you but obviously he's not and this happened quite often in the fucking pod Brenda would give Rogan the eyes like clearly maybe intimating that maybe in the past they would have laughed about this sort of stuff inside jokes but Rogan's not kind of biting he's not really with it so clearly he's not on that kind of time but in play one more time you ever I feel um, good. not smoked weed all day and then right when you get introduced <sighs> to go take a hit of a pen and walk on stage that's your first high as you walk on stage you ever done that I've gotten on stage high every way conceivably possible but you know what i'm talking about yeah like yeah I, I, as you, dude to me that's the that's fucking the formula that's the formula oh my for me yeah. that I, I once i figured that because at first i would smoke weed like all day and then go on stage and i would forget my bits and then i go you know what i can't smoke weed anymore on stage so then i go i'm not gonna smoke weed i'm gonna go on stage and again it's not a big deal don't get me wrong this is a bit nitpicking it's a 30 second clip and it could have been anything like um uche saying maybe he was tweaking on the addies who knows but it's just one of those things that you just don't need to do because it just gives people an easy excuse not to like you because they see this clip and they're like you know what fuck this guy who's he think he is it's that kind of energy you don't need to be putting that kind of energy out there if you're brendan for free you know have people not liking you because of your fucking jokes and shit or because you're not funny or because of your dumb opinions but just like not having people not liking you for free because of stuff like this is really odd you know like why do this it's not necessary that's why i think in general i tend to I, I tend to agree now and i'm starting to lean towards the idea that maybe brendan is just like beyond saving you know he's beyond kind of redemption it's not ever going to come back again he's not ever going to be the guy that we kind of all liked at the beginning at tfat k that guy's dead you know what i mean whoever he is now you know graying getting older um getting fatter with with more kids 40 plus years old it's very or it's very kind of difficult to expect someone like that to change especially if they you know have all the trappings in life that they kind of want the house the, the cars the cool trainers there's no incentive to fucking change because life hasn't really changed that much really for him to kind of wake up in that regard and obviously all the noise is coming from people like myself and other fucking content creators on youtube who he obviously looks down upon and thinks we're fucking scum of the earth and we're haters and trolls and shit so he's never gonna listen to something that we say and obviously his friends around him that most of his friends he pays them so they're not going to say nothing because he cuts their checks and, and pays their bills so maybe he's beyond help maybe it's kind of is what it is and he's the guy that he is now and you just have to kind of take it as it is but it's just disappointing for him because he gives people such an easy reason not to like him with these little things like this are just not necessary you know what i mean just why are you rolling your eyes at him for like 
he's trying to talk about comedy he's trying to like share his passion he's trying to be passionate about something that you're clearly into as well because you do it yourself talking about his rituals and shit why why not just like you know riff on it and talk about it also it's odd it's odd it's odd it's odd um yeah exactly stingu stingu exactly Stingu. this is why pf chang stays in business exactly he's never gonna change exactly bravo bravo brilliant point he's never gonna change that's why pf chang is never gonna go out of business